Okay, so this video is six key lessons that I've learned over 10,000 calls. It's been a lot of calls, right? And so let me just go through the six points and then I'm gonna break it down, okay? Number one, have a good funny icebreaker whenever you call, okay? Number two, ask open-ended questions, right? Number three, you don't need to say the name of the company up front. Number four, um, cold emails versus cold calls. Let's talk about that. Number five, RBOs, reflexive responses, brush offs, objections. Gotta handle those. And number six, gatekeepers, right? How to handle gatekeepers, right? Okay, number one, have a funny icebreaker whenever you call, okay? Um, I've heard things like, uh, how have you been, right? Hey, John, how have you been? Eh, wrong. Um, this is a cold call. You can give me 27 seconds or hang up on me. Hang up on me or give me 27 seconds. What do you say? I've tried that. I've had mixed results, positive, negative. Um, I've even tried, believe it or not. Hey, John, got your jacket on? Because this is a cold call, right? Funny. I got a booking out of it, by the way, um, but mixed results. What I have found is that if you are humorous, it goes a long ways, right? So the way that I do it is, hey, Jane, I know I'm catching out of the blue. You're probably busier than a one-armed paper hanger. Mind if I have 27 seconds to bend your ear? Or busier than a bunch of cats at a laser show. Google busier than phrases. So something appropriate, use that. I've gotten some really great results from that, okay? All right, number two, ask open-ended questions, right? The more you can ask open-ended questions, the more bookings you're gonna get. You, oftentimes you're gonna approach somebody and they don't even know they have an issue until you bring it up. Right? So sometimes they will, but a lot of times they won't. So come in with open ended questions. What do you, you know, um, how do you guys solve for this? Or what are the biggest challenges you see within the industry, within your business? Things like that. It's going to go a long ways. Open ended questions. Okay. Number three, you don't need to say the name of the company up front. It's taken me a long time to figure that out, but you don't need to do that. I say it midway or towards the end, especially ours. It's kind of misleading. So up front, if they ask for it, I'll front end it with what we do so they don't get the wrong conclusion. Okay, so you don't have to say that up front. All right, okay. Um, number four, cold emails versus cold calls. Most of your success will come from cold calls. Cold email is a science. Don't get me wrong, it works, right? But it is a real science, let me tell you. All right, so in that case, here's some help. Jim Edwards, Copywriting Secrets. Awesome book, great formulas, a lot of examples. Get this book. Okay, number five, brush offs, objections, reflexive responses. It's gonna happen a lot, right? So the better you can get at handling these responses, the more successful you're gonna be. Make no cards, train your brain, train your brain to come back at them without even thinking, okay? You've got to practice it and role play. Role play with your colleagues too, right? Make it as real as you can, okay? All right, so, and then finally, gatekeepers. How do you handle gatekeepers? If you come in and you say something like, this is Cody, yep, John's expecting me. Yep, yeah, will you put me through to John? He's expecting me. Somebody familiar or somebody that, you know, sound like a friend, all this nonsense. Don't do that, okay? Long run, it's gonna hurt you more than help, okay? Trust me. Now, how do you come in? You come in and you say, how are you doing? How's life? How did you get into this industry, right? No one ever asked them about their lives. Just imagine, some people get barked at, you know, and I've had a, a receptionist tell me, thank you for not barking at me today, right? And you come in, because guess what? Your solution actually may be a solve for that person. You might not realize it, but, and you can come in and I've found that out, right? So, okay, number one, funny icebreaker. It's gonna get you a long ways, okay? Number two, ask open-ended questions. What's the biggest challenge you face? You may hear, I don't have enough time for my kids. And you can say, what if I told you? That's what we solve for. That's what we help this industry with. Number three, 
Don't have to say the name of the logo up front. It's gonna hurt more than hell probably. So number four, cold calls, emails, cold calls. You're gonna get most results from that. Cold emails, it's an art, do it. Have all bound strategy mindset, but cold calls is probably gonna be the best at the end of the day. RBOs, handle them, get ready for them. It took me a long time to figure that out, but you have to prepare, okay? And you gotta train your brain. And number eight, uh, number six, sorry, gatekeepers, receptionists, they're not your enemies, they're your friends. No one cares about them, so care about them. And it's gonna get you a long ways. It won't, it's not gonna take you forever, okay? So trust me on that. And then finally, my final word is this, take course careers to get into tech sales because you're gonna have a good foundation, you're gonna learn how to make a, uh, find a job, they're gonna prepare you for all this good stuff, and what's really cool is there's a link down below and you can save $50 when you sign up for Course Careers, right? That's the best part right there. Okay, so anyways, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I hope it's been super helpful and leave a comment if you have a question, maybe I can give an answer. We'll see. Thanks so much, bye.